Hello, Sumates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Cashberry's Collection. And um, today I'll be sharing with you people how I made this beautiful gown that you're seeing here. Please, 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 I beg you with the name of God, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like and share my videos. Um, thank you so much. I love you all. So um, let's get started now. This is the fabric that I'll be using. It's two yards here. I have two yards here. So I've marked out my starting point and now I'll, I'll measure the gown length, which is 40, but I'm making it 40.5. So I'm marking out the half length, which is 16 inches and connecting the lines. So over here, I'm marking out half inch because it's going to have a zipper. So I'm marking out half inch. You can either put the zip in the front or at the back. So this is the shoulder. The sleeve length I'll be using is 17 inches. So I'm marking it all the way down to the gown length. So I'm connecting the lines now. So the neck width I'll be using is 3.5 inches. Then the neck depth for the front is 7 inches. So at the shoulder, I'm going down by 3 inches. Call it the sleeve length here. So I'm connecting the length, the line to the neck. So for the front, for the front, I'll be connecting the lines for the neckline. So it's a V neck, complete V neck. So over here at the sleeve, my round sleeve is 16 inches, so I'll be placing 8 plus 2 inches, making it 10. But I don't need that now, that will be when I'll be shaping the clothes, that I will need it. So, we need our dart here. We need our dart here. How to get your dart? Your bust divided by 4 minus 1.5. My own is 5 inches. So, remember that I added half inch, so you have to start from the half inch. So, over here, I'm marking my chest line. How to get your chest line, your bust divided by 6 plus 1. So my dart is going to start from my chest line. Down to 2 inches above my hip. So I'm going to mark out my hip line now. So I'll go up by 2 inches. That's where my dart is going to stop. Yeah. And so I'm connecting the dot line. I'm opening it up by half half inch and connecting the lines. So down here I'm going to go up by half a one inch, sorry, then connect the line. So for the back neck depth it's going to be two inches. Yeah. So this dart now, I'm going to remove it. I'm going to use a razor to remove the dart to cut it off. So I'm marking out the length of my belt. So it's six inches, three above and three beneath the half length, making it six inches. So I've removed the darts now. You can see the outcome. 
I removed it both in front and the back piece. So now I'm going to remove the back to record the front neckline. Okay, so I'm going to slit it, to cut it into two. I just want it to have, I just want to join it in the front. My own will have zip at the back. So I just want it to be a design of its own. Yeah, I will join it in the front. It will be this, we will look this way. Yeah, then at the back, I'm going to attach my zipper. So this is the two stripes that I've cut. It's six inches by width and by length. I have 12 inches here. How do you get this? Divide your half length round into four. Just do your half length round plus seven inches divided by four. Then cut it out, whatever it gave to you. So this is it. I've joined the front panel. I've biased the neck and even the back, but I, I'm still going to lose it and attach my zipper. So now I'll be joining the shoulder. So I'm marking out the um, round sleeve remember i'm going to use 10 so i've measured the 10 out and from there i'll be shaping the cloth down from the shoulder down to 10 inches please you have to use your round sleeve here and for the sleeve length you can as well make it longer you can make it longer than this 17 inches Please, the longer, the fuller the gown, and it will be very beautiful. I just have to make use of the fabric that I have at hand. So, you can make yours longer, and it will be, be, it will be very beautiful. Believe me. So I've joined it, I've shaped it, brother. So this is it, I've shaped the two sides, I've shaped the two sides and this is my sleeve, round sleeve. So it's remaining the dart that is opening, the dart opening, I'm going to fill it up now with the belt. I folded it into two and detected the center. I have to place it this way. Meanwhile, I notched the center of the dart as well. That is the half length round. So I have to pin it. The two places that I notched have to rhyme. Then I will flip it. Just so it's like you're sewing your darts now, your normal darts. The difference is that the belt is now going to be inside. You are going to sew the belt inside as you are sewing your darts. Don't forget to stitch it up. Make sure the belt and the um, dart is rhyming. So just sew it the way you sew your dart. The only difference is that you are going to put the belt in between the two, the dart and sew it together. Sew everything together. I'm sewing this at, on the front panel. Then stitch it up. I'm done with this one. I'm going to 
turn turn it round, turn it out. Remove the pin, then from this side, from this side, I'm going to turn it again, then place it, making the two places that I notched to rhyme. I will still hold it with pin. I'm holding it with pin so that it will be easier when I will flip it so that I will not get confused. So you have to do yours like that. So I've pinned it. So you have to still flip it. This is the back side now. Flip it. Then you sew your dart as well. So make sure everything is rhyming. So whenever you are doing this kind of thing, you have to relax. You are not rushing to anywhere. Just relax and sew it. And always make your work to be neat. So this is this is me sewing my own. As you can see, I'm taking my time to sew this. So I've notched it. So have you seen that one side is ready now? One side of the cloth is ready. Is remaining this part. So I have to fill it in and come back. Ah, take a look at this cloth. So beautiful. Ah, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. I love you all. Bye. Bye.